Jordan here. We are in the garage once again, doing another install video on the old B-Strom. Uh, today is a pretty exciting day because they finally came. Uh, so when I got the V-Strom, I knew one of the first things I wanted to do was get uh, skid plate and crash bars, and I did. And it was one of the first things I ordered, and I ended up going with um, Heed. Uh, brand and they came from Poland so they took about a month to get here but uh, that's alright because when they showed up they looked sweet they're powder coated black and they match the frame of the bike and everything really good and I think once they're installed it's gonna look like it was made to go on the bike which I guess <laughs> technically it was made to go on the bike but uh, let's take a look at them and see I think this is gonna be a really easy install and going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, there wasn't, there was a little piece of paper with a picture on it, but I wouldn't really call that instruction. So, uh, but from the looks of it, this is, it's just going to be a few bolts and it's going to bolt right on and it's going to be a piece of cake. So let's get started. Okay. So, uh, I got everything unpacked out of the box. Uh, here's the left crash bar and here's the right one. And there's the skid plate. And I already got all the tools and stuff that I think I'm going to need. Uh, judging by here, this just connects at four points. And then underneath, out in front of the engine, the bars actually connect together. Uh, using this little piece, it looks like. so. And then uh, they actually connect to the skid plate in the front. So what we're going to do first is... This little brace in the frame right here, we're going to take these four bolts out and uh, start here on the right side and try to get this bar on. goes the right side. Perfect fit. Uh, they do come with new hardware, uh, longer bolts that you do need to use. And just to be safe, I'm putting Loctite on these. Always a good idea. Especially since these are something that won't be coming off once they go on. They'll pretty much be a permanent thing, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so now we got this little uh, tube thing that's going to go in between the two crash bars to connect them. I'm going to slide it on the side that I already put on. That way when we go to put the other side on, I'll just be able to slip it right back into the, the next one that goes on. Okay, so I'm doing the left side. Before I tightened this all up by putting, I only put one bolt in so it stayed loose. I was able to align them so they lined up. And I could get this little piece in the center to connect the two of them because they didn't quite line up. That's why I left this one loose, so I could have some wiggle room to get that in there. All right, so now that the right side's on, the left side's on, all the bolts are in, uh, we can go ahead and tighten everything up. All right, now that the crash bars are in, we'll get the skid plate under there and see what it looks like. Okay, so the skid plate looks like it mounts to the crash bars in the front uh, using this piece. And using these little U-bolts, they wrap around the bars and clamp down. Like that. So on the back of the skid plate, there's it mounts with this little guy. And these looks like mount to one of the 
bolts that holds the kickstand on, and on the other side, uh, somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> Not on that side yet. All right, so it took a little while, but you can see here, this is the brace that the kit added, and that is where this kid plate is gonna bolt to. It was on, this is one of the bolts for the kickstand, which was a pain in the butt to get off. And then the one on this side that holds the exhaust. And it mounts and it's got a nice rubber piece that means you'll never get any vibration shaking the the skid plate so that's cool so all that we gotta do next is put our bolts in right here and bolt it up to the skid plate and go ahead and hang it All right, there it is installed. Now all that's left to do is finish tightening up all these bolts. Here's what the back one looks like. So we are done with the install. Uh, the crash bars and the skid plate are looking good. Got everything all tightened up and uh, torqued down. We'll take uh, one quick look at everything close up again. Uh, just to see what it all looks like when it's all put together. Alright guys, well what do you think? Putting that and the bark busters definitely make it look like it's a lot tougher and looks like it's a lot more of an off-road off worthy rig. Uh, pretty happy with the install, it went pretty good. Um, so far heat is, looks like it uh, makes pretty good stuff. Obviously, uh, hopefully uh, I don't have to test out those crash bars anytime soon, but I'm sure eventually down the road I will. And uh, they look pretty sturdy, so hopefully they hold up pretty good. But yeah, that's probably the last install video I do for I'll do for a little bit. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do next, but uh, definitely my I'm looking into maybe a windscreen, and um, maybe down the road I'll be doing some more luggage and uh, panniers or something like that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.